Change Radio, the people's radio, changing lives, changing communities, changing ideas. Tune in to Change Radio for all your fresh and undiluted news in Isi Debele, Shona, and English. Five days a week from Monday to Friday. The death of Jande will not go just like that. I am in exile. But the greatest part of me is in Zimbabwe. The greatest part of me is within the Zimbabwean government. The greatest part of me is within the ZAN-PF administration. The greatest part of me is everywhere around Amazon Monangagwa. We are tired of this freedom of doom. We are tired of this kind of solipsistic and mendacious leadership. Zimbabwe is a democratic country, free for all. It's not only Emerson Munangagwa and his friends who fought for the liberation of Zimbabwe. Our fathers fought for this country too. So as much as their children have to be living a good lives, as much as their children have to start, we also do have that right. And it is our right to stand for ourselves. We are tired of being told that we are children when it comes to things that affect our very own existence, when it comes to things that affect the, the, the existence of our children, when it comes to things that affect the future of our children, when it comes to matters that affect our nation, our country, and our people. When those people went to war, they were even below 19. Most of them, including Emerson Munangagwa, became generals be, be, when they were below 25. And they started reigning since then, up to now. Now they are 80-somethings, 70-somethings. They want to tell us that we are still children to be concerned about the things that are happening in our country. Zimbabwe belongs to the young generation, not to the old people. They have stolen everything, all our minerals. They are looting day in, day out. But this has to come to an end. We have been quiet. We have been respective to our security forces. But there is no point of maintaining peace in a country where there is no democracy. We need democracy first. We need rule of law. We cannot keep watch people being killed like rats in the name of politics. Zimbabwe does not belong to anyone. It is a democratic and a free country where every citizen must have a right to choose his or her political party. Nobody is supposed to be forced to join any certain political party. This has to end. If our national security forces does not care about us, our minerals, they are looting day in, day out. But this has to come to an end. We have been quiet. We have been respective to our security forces. But there is no point of maintaining peace in a country where there is no democracy. We need democracy first. We need rule of law. We cannot keep watch people being killed like rats in the name of politics. Zimbabwe does not belong to anyone. It is a democratic and a free country where every citizen must have a right to choose his or her political party. Nobody is supposed to be forced to join any certain political party. This has to end. If our national security forces does not care about us as the citizens, then we are going to defend ourselves. We no longer care. Personally, I will never rest until I find the killers of Shande. I know one of them is Matthew, who lives in Gutu. And I'm coming there for you. You may not see my face, but I'm coming there. Tagwire, this is the right time for you to step down from being an MP. You cannot keep sending people to kill citizens. You are a criminal. All Zan PF officials are criminals. Munangagwa killed people in Matebele land. He incited the Gukura Unti genocide. 
and he is claiming that he is sorry about killing thousands of people. That's nonsense. This has to come to an end. What I'm saying to the people in Batebeleland is there is no exception of any sort of apology for the killings of people through the ground. We will stand by you. If we are going to have a civil war in Zimbabwe, so be it. We are tired of this freedom of doom. We cannot have a government that owns our military. We cannot have a government that owns our judiciary. We cannot have a government that owns our security forces. If our security forces are there to protect the ZANPF interest, who is going to be there to protect the interests of the people? Is it the people that are supposed to be working for the government or the government working for the people? These fools we are calling ministers and MPs are busy looting and plundering our national resources.